in the house. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For all those who are new to my channel, my name is Nancy and I make videos on forensic science. So I have recently completed this series on metallic poisons wherein I discussed about arsenic, copper, mercury, lead and thallium poisoning and now I have made a quiz on that. So if you haven't watched those videos, please go watch them and then come and attend this quiz. I have given the links in the description box. Or if you have prior knowledge of all these poison, poisoning of all these metals, then you may go and attend this quiz right now. So there are in total 20 questions and you will be given 20 seconds for each those questions and uh, after that you can just take a pen and a paper and you can simply write the answers and at the end of the video i've provided the answers so you can check how many you got correct and how many you got wrong and also i'll be discussing all the questions at the end of the video so let's get started
and now you have attempted all the questions now have a look at the answers the first question was elric means lines are common characteristic feature of which metallic element so the answer to this question is b arsenic these lines are transverse white bands on the nail plates of a person like here you can see white bands these are called elric means lines that are common feature of arsenic poisoning next question is Minimata disease is caused due to which metallic irritant? So the answer to this question is D. Mercury. In Minimata Bay, that is a place in Japan, a factory discharged inorganic mercury into the water. The mercury was then methylated by the bacteria in the water and then it was ingested by the fishes. Now local villagers, they ate those fishes and that's how they got chronic mercury poisoning so the answer is mercury here you can see the factory it uh, basically uh, discharged the mercury and here the fishes ate it and then these fishes were eaten by the uh, villagers third is which metallic poison resembles cholera so the answer to this question is c arsenic here uh, acute exposures of arsenic generally are associated with cholera like symptoms like gastrointestinal symptoms of nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea. Okay, so uh, these are uh, so arsenic resembles cholera. Next is rodenticide was banned in certain European countries and Australia because of because. The rodenticide used to have thallium and that used to cause thallium poisoning. So that is why the rodenticide was banned because it was used for homicidal purposes by certain people. Next comes Bartonian lines are seen in which kind of poisoning? Guys, the answer to this question is lead. Here you can see Bartonian lines are basically yellow colored lines that are found on the gingival area or the gum area of a person and this is a sign that is found in patient with chronic lead poisoning these blue color lines are bartonian lines found in lead poisoning next is which color froth is found near the mouth of copper poisoning the answer to this question is greenish blue then severe hair loss from head, eyebrows, axilla is seen in which poisoning? I have discussed it in my video that hair loss is the most uh, important, you can say, feature in the case of thallium poisoning. Here you can see the picture. Then which metal attacks potassium ion and hinders the functioning of potassium dependent enzyme? The answer to this question is again thallium. Th uh, after absorption, thallium replaces the potassium in, the, in many potassium dependent enzyme systems. This is so because the atomic radius of thallium is very much similar to potassium. So that's how it hinders the chemical reactions that are occurring in the body. Then one of the characteristic feature of arsenic poisoning is the answer is raindrop pigmentation. This is how raindrop pigmentation looks. It is basically brown pigmentation that is smoothly seen on the skin, shoulder, eyelid, neck area of a person. Pink disease is caused by mercury. Dansbury tremors is also caused by mercury chronic poisoning and chalcosis lentis is caused due to copper poisoning. Then the deposition of which of the falling metal in the tissue of the eye causes chalcosis. As I've discussed the answer is copper. Here you can see there is brownish deposition if you can see here. This is due to copper poisoning. Next one, which of the following metal affects the cognitive development of children? The answer to this question is lead. Which of the following is red color toxic compound formed by lead? 
as i have discussed that vermilion or sindhur is basically lead tetra oxide d option that is red in color lead acetate looks like sugary white lead carbonate is also white and tetra ethyl lead is or is black in color so the answer is d this is how sindhur or lead tetra oxide looks then hatter shake are commonly seen in the answer is mercury hatter shake dansbury tremors shaking palsy all these are all these are different terms that are given to tremors caused due to mercury poisoning then mercury poison poisoning is caused by all except now compact fluorescent lamps uses mercury fluorescent lamps uses mercury incandescent lamps uses mercury and lead whereas led bulb do not use mercury they use lead and nickel so the correct answer is c then vineyard sprayer lung disease is caused due to spraying which of the following toxic compounds now vineyard sprayer lung disease is caused due to spraying bordeaux mixture bordeaux mixture is a mixture containing copper sulfate along with lime so the answer to this question is a copper sulfate vapor form of which of the following metal has garlic like smell answer is arsenic d which of the following arsenic compound is most toxic i have told before that arsenious oxide which is also known as arsenic trioxide is the most toxic form of arsenic so the correct answer is b if mercury is present in the viscera of a person then what color coating will be seen on the copper strip in marsh test now when copper strip is dipped if there is a silver color appearing then that means that the viscera contained mercury and if there is a black or black gray color covering on the silver uh, on the copper strip then that means that arsenic is present next is gudzi test is used for which poisoning the answer is arsenic blue vitriol is common name for copper sulfate this is how it looks blue colored copper sulfate or blue vitriol so this was the quiz guys i hope that you all must have got good uh marks because i have discussed all these questions in my previous videos if not then you can go and see those videos i have provided the link in the description box and you can study all the important terms related to this topic for ugc net exam this time thank you for attending the quiz